look at uh, Luke chapter 15. Luke chapter 15, then drew near unto him, that's the Lord Jesus Christ, all the publicans and sinners for to hear him. And the Pharisees and scribes murmured, saying, This man receiveth sinners and eateth with them. And he spake this parable unto them, saying, oh, What man of you, having an hundred sheep, if he lose one of them, doth not leave the ninety and nine in the wilderness, and go after that which is lost, until he find it? And when he hath found it, he layeth um, it on his shoulders, rejoicing. And when he cometh home, he calleth together his friends and neighbours, uh, saying unto them, Rejoice with me, for I have found my sheep uh, which was lost. You and I are like sheep. Jesus. You and I are like sheep, you know, we've, we've gone astray, we've turned everyone to his own way. The Lord hath laid on him, that is the Father, hath laid on the Son, the iniquity of us all. And so we need to understand the Lord Jesus Christ died for our sins upon the cross. Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures and he was buried to praise God the third day he rose again according to the scriptures. So your soul can be saved and that's exactly what God wants for each and every one of us that our soul will be saved and will be on our way to heaven. You see it's either heaven or hell at the moment of death God does not want any of us to go down to hell and that's why he sent the Lord Jesus Christ down from heaven to this sin-cursed earth to die upon the cross for you and for me. So he layeth it on his shoulders rejoicing. Um, yes, when he cometh home he calleth together his friends and neighbours saying unto them, Rejoice with me for I have found my sheep which was lost. See, you and I are lost. And Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. So he came to save us. He came to seek for us. For the Son of Man is come to seek and to save that which was lost. So first up we've got to realise we're lost. We're dead in our trespasses and in our sins. Heading down to hell because of those sins. But the Lord Jesus Christ is well able to save your soul. And that's what he wants to do. And as I come here to preach the gospel of Christ unto you. Realising that he's the only way of salvation. And this is what we need to understand. There's absolutely no other way to get to heaven apart from the Lord Jesus Christ. He's the one that you've got to come to know as your saviour. Because if he won't be your saviour, he'll be your judge. So what will it be for you, saviour or judge? Heaven or hell? Salvation or damnation? As I said before, we are like sheep that have gone astray. Because of our sin, we need to come back to God by means of the Lord Jesus Christ. He's the only way to God. You know, the Lord Jesus Christ said, and only he could say it, I am the way, not a way. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Have you come in repentance toward God? That is, a change of mind. Simply agree with God that you are a sinner. And then put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and your soul will be saved. We have a soul that needs to be saved. If our soul is not saved, we'll remain in a lost condition, heading down to hell because of our sins that have not been forgiven. But God is able to forgive you of all of your sins. And that's why I come here to bring you the message of hope and salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ. I say unto you that likewise joy shall be in heaven over one sinner that repenteth more than over ninety and nine just persons which need no repentance. And of course we all need to repent. Repentance is a change of mind. Simply agree with God that you are a sinner and then place your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and your soul will be saved. Either what woman having ten pieces of silver if she lose one piece Doth not light a candle and sweep the house and seek diligently till she find it. And when she hath found it, she calleth her friends and her neighbours together, saying, Rejoice with me, for I have found the peace which I had lost. Likewise, I say unto you, there is joy in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner that repenteth. 
So this is absolutely essential for salvation. We've got to come in repentance toward God. And as I said, that's a change of mind. Simply agree with God that you are a sinner and place your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and your soul be saved. And he said, a certain man had two sons and the younger of them said to his father, Father, give me the portion of goods that falleth to me. And he divided unto them his living. In other words, he wanted the inheritance before his dad had died. It's, it's you know, really cheeky to ask that, isn't it, really, when we think about it. And so, um, yeah, and he divided unto them his living. And not many days after, the youngest son gathered all together and took his journey into a far country and there wasted his substance with riotous living. In other words, he was living it up, partying it up, or do whatever, you know, whatever people do today. Um, you know, and that's, that's wrong in the sight of the Lord. He should have never done that, obviously, for the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. And so he, he lived this riotous uh, living. He was, uh, you know, he partied, partied it up and everything. And when he had spent all, there arose a mighty famine in that land, and he began to be in want. And he went and joined himself to a citizen of that country, and he sent him into the fields to feed swine, in other words, to feed pigs. And he would fain have filled his belly with the husk that the swine did eat, and no man gave unto him. And when he came to himself, you know, realized that he'd done the wrong thing, in other words, repentance, changed his mind, he said, how many hired servants of my father's have bread enough to spare, and I perish with hunger. And I will, uh, I will arise and go to my father and will say unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before thee, and am no more worthy to be called thy son. Make me as one of thy hired servants. And he arose and came to his father, but when he was yet a great way off, his father saw him and had compassion, and ran and fell on his neck and kissed him. And the son said unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and in thy sight. I am no more worthy to be called thy son. But the father said to his servants, Bring forth the best robe and put it on him, and put a ring on his hand and uh, shoes on his feet, and bring hither or bring here the fatted calf and kill it, and let us eat and be merry. For this my son was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found. And they began to be merry. That's a wonderful story concerning, you know, you think of you and I who we've gone away from God, we've, we've done the wrong thing in the sight of the Lord, we've sinned against the Lord, and, uh, you know, we've really done the wrong thing in the sight of the Lord. In other words, sin. And, you know, sin is disobedience to God, obviously, breaking the commandments of the Lord and all these things. And we deserve death. The wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. That's where the Lord Jesus Christ comes into the picture. The Father sent the Son to be the Saviour of the world. But is He your Saviour? You need to make Him yours personally. If not, He won't be your Saviour, He'll be your judge. It's either one or the other. You know, it's either heaven or hell. It's very simple. But many people don't like to hear about hell. But it's a reality. But God wants us all to be in heaven, and that's the point. That's why I come here. Because I'm concerned about your soul. Your soul that leaves your body at the moment of death. Are you ready to meet God? You know, the Bible says, prepare to meet thy God. It's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God, yet God will have all men to be saved and to come unto the knowledge of the truth. Truth is found in the Word of God, the Bible. It's also found, obviously, in a person. That is the Lord Jesus Christ. Come to the one who said, I am the way, not a way. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Have you come in repentance toward God? Acknowledge you're a sinner before the God of heaven, and then put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, and your soul will be saved. Now his uh, eldest son was in the field, and as he came and drew nigh near to the house, he heard music and dancing. And he called one of the servants and asked what these things meant. And he said unto him, Thy brother is come, and thy father hath killed the fatted calf, 
because he hath received him safe and sound. And he was angry and would not go in. Therefore came his father out and entreated him, and he answered, answering said to his father, Lo, these many years do I serve thee, neither transgressed I at any time thy commandment. And yet thou, hast, uh, thou never gavest me a kid that I might make merry with my friends. Uh, but as soon as this thy son was come, which hath devoured thy living with harlots, thou hast killed for him the fatted calf. And he said unto him, Son, thou art ever with me, and all that I have is thine. It was me, or it was fit, that we should make merry and be glad, for this thy brother was dead, and is alive again, and was lost, and is found. Now really, this is a story of a backslidden believer of a Christian, because we can't call God our Father until we be born again. Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. So when we're born in this world, we're actually born as the children of the devil. It's not an easy uh, pill to swallow, is it? It's the truth. You know, the Lord Jesus Christ said in John chapter 8, I think it's verse 44, Ye are of your father the devil, and the lust of your father ye will do. And so we need to be born again. That's the whole point. We need to be born from above. We need to be born into God's family through faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. And it's absolutely essential to enter into heaven. We must be born again. There's no other way of salvation apart from the Lord Jesus Christ. His precious blood was shed upon the cross in whom we have redemption through his blood even the forgiveness of sins. Have you experienced the forgiveness for your sins? In other words, are you on your way to heaven? Are you still on that broad road, that highway to hell if you like, that leads down to hell and destruction? God does not want that for any one of us. He's not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Just change your mind. Agree with God that you are a sinner and put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and God promises you everlasting life. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Do it now before it's forever and eternally too late. If you're interested in this, look me up, youtube.com forward slash peace by Jesus Christ. God bless you. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Have a great night. No!